Hey there, doing another video on supplements and things that I've got in my diet while I'm doing my protein sparing modified fast. Uh, these are things that I might actually continue to use um, once I get um, to a point where I feel satisfied that this uh, new protocol has gotten me to where I want to be weight wise. Oh, again, a lot of these things have been inspired by a lot of reading that I've done. Uh, and the Velocity Diet was probably the biggest inspiration. Um, I think I have trouble following strict protocols that others have outlined. I like pulling pieces of things in. I like experimenting. And I've uh, found that um, I kind of create hybrid protocols on weight loss. And I've gotten a really good response, at least I feel, from, from this particular modification of, of pulling in different things. And... Uh, one of the things that I felt was important and that I've read uh, from people's reactions to you know, protein spurry modified fasts is the low energy levels because of the lack of carbs. Obviously, from what we know from the scientific literature, if you follow those sort of things, is your um, muscle store glycogen. And the glycogen comes from carbs. So if you are low carbing it, and doing heavy exercise, your glycogen stores will not be replenished um, like they would normally having a normal amount of carbs. Of course, excessive carbs, excessive any macronutrient, um, excessive calories will cause you to gain weight. But w what I've found uh, through the literature and the reading that I've done, and even my personal experience, that um, you know, I get in these weird things with with carbs that. If I eat carbs, I want more carbs, even if I eat complex carbs. Uh, for a while, I was doing a bowl of oatmeal in the morning, which is a complex carb, slow digesting, and I'd actually find myself to be hungrier uh, throughout the day. Um, so I've been on a low-carb diet now for about three weeks, um, averaging about 65 grams of carbs a day, and those carbs are complex or coming from things such as uh, you know, the whey protein that I have. It's probably from the lactose, which I believe is a disaccharide. has two sugars. Um, and uh, that's primarily it. It's just I'm not actually taking any, any carbs in other than through what I'm getting through, like protein shakes, which is the backbone of my diet. I'm about to do another video on the protein part that I use. So an, an, enough said about that. But so I, I've read that incorporating a creatine uh, glutamine stack within the protein spray modified fast that the creatine obviously is great for workouts it's supposed to really help um, with muscle contraction you know it's a pre-workout supplement you also can use it post-workout the body produces it uh, and I know there's a lot of information on uh, how to load creatine if you should load it, load it the different versions of it you know monohydrate and all these different variations um, and the glutamine it actually can be used as an energy source from what I understand. I don't know how your body metabolizes that into energy. Uh, it could be pure placebo effect, but I ended up looking for a pre slash post workout supplement to overcome anything I might experience in terms of, of lack of energy because I'm doing the low carb thing. And what I found, um, I go to Rite Aid and they have a little GNC inside their store and looked at a, a lot of different things. You know, Jack 3D, GNC has a couple of, you know, brands of pre-workout supplements and couldn't really find a, a really good creatine and glutamine stack together. Um, you know, there were separate creatine, separate glutamine, and the stuff's expensive. I mean, supplements are expensive. And, um... I've found that EAS, which is owned by Abbott Labs now, seems to always have what I'm looking for, which is interesting. Um, and what I ended up getting was uh, EAS's Pro Science. Uh, this is the Reload. I get the camera good there. It's the Reload, and what it is, it's a little packet. It's a drink. You mix it, and um, it, it's great. It's a cherry flavor. And let me tell you what's in it. Uh, it's 35 calories, so it's pretty, pretty low calorie. 
uh, as five grams of carbs. So there are carbs in here, and I'll explain to you where the carbs are coming from. Of course, that's got your creatine monohydrate, it's got two grams, and it's got glutamine, two grams. And there is some calcium in here, which I think, if I can remember, the calcium helps the absorption of the creatine. And there's some taurine in there, too. So, so it's a, a little bit of an energy supplement. Um, I know with the taurine, that's something that's included in the Red Bull. Um, now, I'm definitely not an expert. I do a lot of reading, um, but I, I definitely know the taurine, I believe, is an amino acid. Um, the carbs of this come from maltodextrin, which I've done a lot of research on um, post-workout carbs. You know, what gets metabolized where? Um, you know, fructose over, um, you know, uh, sucrose, you know, over, over glucose and, and how the sugars get metabolized. And maltodextrin is a polysaccharide, it's like three or four different sugars. Um, and I understand it to metabolize better, in fact, to be, to actually go straight to your muscle glycogen. Uh, and by the way, the liver metabolizes it. And um, I've been doing, the recommended dose is three of these a day. I do two a day. I do one in the morning. I dump it right in my shake, which is great. It's like a cherry vanilla type um, shake once I, I mix it up uh, with the Chia Seed, which is another video that I did earlier. And um, I do one post-workout. So it's, a, it's technically a recovery um, supplement, although I use it, you know, pre and post workout, and um, you know, maybe it's the glutamine, maybe it's the creatine, I don't know, but my workouts have been really, really good. I've had no loss of energy whatsoever, not having carbs, literally. I mean, I've been able to push it harder than I ever have been um, with carbs, and um, I don't know. Maybe it's a supplement, maybe it's not. Um, but I really enjoy it, and price-wise, uh, and I don't know if they still have this deal, but I, it was buy one, get one free at Rite Aid. Uh, one pack was like, uh, it's 21 servings in a pack. I paid $25, so I got basically two for 25 uh, And even by itself, that's cheaper than most of the other supplements were, which are in like the 40 to $80 range. Um, but again, this is the EAS Pro Science Reload. Um, hopefully, it's something that you can find at uh, your local um, supplement store, GSC, probably online. Uh, I like it. Um, you know, again, I am not being endorsed by EAS. I'm just kind of speaking from personal experience, and um, I, I think it works. Um, I, I feel incredible, and we'll see what the results will be. I mean, obviously, time will, will tell whether or not this stuff's really doing me any good or not. Um, well, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, there'll be more videos on supplements. I uh, plan on doing one on uh, the protein powder that I like to use. Thanks for watching.